So obviously with the compiler, we can know if our program is, you know, actually wrong, right? It, it won't compile or it would show some warnings, right? If I do something like, you know, a syntax, a syntax error, you know, uh, actually let me do this. False. Okay. And then that will show, okay, clang. Okay. So, you know, obviously something like this is just a syntax error, right? And it wouldn't, it wouldn't compile. Well, if I try doing, you know, it, it wouldn't compile, right? It shows an error. But, um, well, let's say if we do something like this, let me include standard IO. Well, I mean, well, this isn't wrong, right? This doesn't show any errors because, well, it's syntactically correct, but we wouldn't really actually want to pass null to puts. We would actually want a valid address, right? That actually um, is in the memory somewhere, right? So the problem here is we have a thing that's syntactically correct, but is a thing that we don't necessarily want. But it's not as obvious as, you know, some syntax error, right? So in this case, you would want a static analyzer, which doesn't just compile your code, it also analyzes your code. So if we have a char pointer, which we assign null, and then we pass the same thing, which, you know, contains null, right, to puts, well, it would be kind of useful if, you know, since we are explicitly doing this to know that we are actually passing null to puts, which we don't want and you know you probably want some warning and you don't actually need a new program for this so if you have gcc you know it, it doesn't actually show an error right but maybe if we i don't know uh with i forgot the extra maybe it shows an error no but uh there's a flag uh f analyzer and if we use that, so it warns us that we are trying to pass null to a function that doesn't expect null. And it knows that because, well, we assign null to s and we use s, therefore s is null, right? So puts null, which is uh, incorrect, right? And uh, I don't know if clang tidy, um, well, it doesn't detect that, but Sometimes Clang is better, sometimes GCC, I don't know. I think Clang is better for something like this if you have, you know, a malloc and you haven't treated it anywhere. If we do Clang tidy C, it will show us a memory leak that we haven't uh, freed the malloc. And, well, I don't think GCC deems this as an error. Yeah. So you can use Clang tidy or GCC F analyzer or both, right? And then, you know, if we don't actually, I'm not sure, but I think if you don't check the malloc here, it, it also shows you an error because malloc might be null, right? Uh, I think this is GCC. Yeah, G GCC warns us if we aren't even checking malloc which might be null which is you know that's really nice right and you you might not want it but you know whatever so you can use both gcc and clang tidy uh you know to check your code and you know it can do more things but uh, this is just the you know the nice things i've observed but uh, oh yeah double free double close i think uh, the normal compiler will not, you know, give an error, but a static analyzer would. So you can use GCC or uh, Clang Tidy. I use Clang D for auto completion with uh, Cock Neovim, but for the static analysis, I found that GCC 
F Analyzer and Clang Tidy is pretty good. And definitely more sophisticated than things like uh, CPP Check or something. But I don't know if that's even a static analyzer. But uh, I use that with Dense Analysis Ale. So I turned off the uh, diagnostics for Clang D in Cogniovim. So it only shows the errors from Clang Tidy and uh, GCC F Analyzer. So uh, where is it? I don't know. GCC plugins. So if, if you're wondering what flags I use, I use this. And also, uh, there's this really annoying thing where <laughs> it warns, Clang Tidy will warn you for every mem copy, sir copy, basically every standard library function, which is, you know, that, that's kind of ridiculous if you're using C. Maybe if it's C++, maybe that's fine, but, you know, you would probably want this <laughs> if you're uh, using C because, you know, it literally shows an error every mem copy, stir copy, or not an error, uh, warning. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you could use this uh, if you're using ale, right? Or, you know, pass this to uh, if you're using the command line or something as arguments. But, uh, yeah, hopefully that was useful if you didn't know that before. <laughs>